Some blessings, everyone. This is Rashar Medina with a look inside. Today, I wanted to talk about the subject of want. The reason I wanted to talk about this is I'm going to do a video on this subject and contrast it with another, another subject, uh, desire. And I'm going to be doing a separate video on desire. And these two subjects tend to be kind of mixed up together or, or seen as like synonyms or similar words or like, oh, you know, wants the same thing as desire, as if they're interchangeable. And I really want to cover these subjects because they're definitely not. They are distinct words that appear similar, at least from my perspective. So with that being said, when we're talking about wants and wanting something Sounds like such a simple, basic concept, and in some ways it is. You want something, and that's showing, okay, I do not have this thing, and I would like to acquire it. Uh, at least that's what's implied. But depending on what's going on with the person when they're wanting something, uh, that doesn't always mean that they're going to actually get the thing. Or that they are going to even make the attempt. Uh, wanting can can be something that puts people in a state of lack, or it could put people in a state of scarcity, or being limited in some way. And to me, when I think about uh, having wants, I try and I tr uh, at this point in my life, I try not to have too many wants. Uh, I prefer to have desires, and I'll talk about that in the next uh, video but with wants I try not to have too many of those because that's kind of setting a, a certain paradigm where oh I don't or can't have this thing at the moment so I'm gonna express that I want it like basically it's, like, it's kind of putting you putting putting a person more in a, a, a victim role a scarcity role kind of the the person almost like they're complaining uh, in a certain type of way they're expressing a, a discontent with their situation so I say to uh, from my perspective to just be careful about having too many wants and this is not to say that there are things in life that you cannot acquire that's not what I'm uh, basically saying I just want to note that the way that the word is used can be misunderstood and can put people in a disempowered place. So basically, if we're able to go get something, then it's not really a want. That's kind of how I look at it. So with that being said, being like in a state of want, it almost it kind of lends... Uh, towards neediness after a certain point if we're just like oh i want this i want this i want this you're just saying you 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 can't have it right now you may not be able to get it period you may you're just you're kind of just in this helpless stuck place when it comes to expressing want so i'm gonna contrast this and, and from my perspective go into desire and how that is the ideal thing to kind of come from and express from. Expressing one's desires as opposed to wants. So I'll get into that with the next video. I hope everyone is doing well. Definitely like the video if you enjoyed it or got something of value from it. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. And leave a comment below. Peace and blessings.